How about machine learning? How many of you are there in machine learning? One, uh, two? No, theory and basics. But you're not into it. I mean, the project which I'm working on, it is uh, integrated with machine learning models. So I want you, and uh, I guess there's, there was someone else was as well. <coughs> but you're a student, right? Okay. So I want you to say something in maybe in two minutes to promote machine learning. I want to know how machine learning experts promote machine learning. <coughs> I mean, they, the way I did for blockchain, and then now you know, ha, blockchain is a dumb hai, right? Because see, for machine learning, I always feel machine learning is not a new concept. It's there from a long time, right? In fact, AI came in 1970s. That's what the first time when they returned, they returned the AI paper. But why someone not implemented AI at that point? Why now? Yeah, but because now we have data. At that point, we, they were not having data about you. Now they know everything about you. So maybe you can lie to your parents that you're going to a college. But Google knows where you are, <laughs> right? Google knows which mall, even they know which screen. You know how they know which screen? Showtime. Huh? Showtime. Okay. okay, showtime or booking, right? Every time you book on uh, Book My Show or Paytm, they send you a mail. And that's not the only case. Google also tells you, it's time to leave for a movie. <laughs> right, so Google knows where you are. Huh, so, uh, so now machine learning, is, machine learning are getting famous because of the data which we have. Plus we also have computing power, which was not there in 1970s. You know how much RAM you need, right? right? 4GB is the requirement, but it, it doesn't work. Because 4GB will be used by Windows. What about other applications, like let's say if you want to play PUBG. In fact, that's how you normally test a lot of devices nowadays. <laughs> when you buy a new phone, how to test the performance? Install PUBG. If you want to, if you have a new tablet, how to test it? Play PUBG. If you buy a machine, a desktop machine, not for gaming, for editing videos, how to test it? <laughs> that's what, that's what we do, right? Uh, so nowadays, uh, I mean, the computing power is very, is changing a lot, right? So at least you need 16 GB of RAM in, in your laptops to make it work efficiently. I'm not saying 8 GB RAM will not work. But then the word is very important, efficiently. Right, if you're using Windows, you know what happens with Windows, right? Uh, and then, so if you, if, you, if you go back to year 2000, again, we were using Pentium 2 or Pentium 3, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Again, anyone is old enough to have worked on Pentium 3? I worked on Pentium 4. Oh, Pentium 4. That's how you can reveal your age, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Pentium 4, Zamana. <laughs> so, anyone from Pentium 3, no? Okay, so Pentium 3 was slow, Pentium 4 was like, okay, we can do it more. And then we got the Core to Duo. In fact, Core to Duo was a stream where actually machine learning started implementing. Because you can't even run machine learning models on Pentium 4. If you try that, you will hear a small sound. I mean, it, you will burn your CPU. That's heavy, that's how they, heavy they are. So now it is, machine learning is useful, right? In fact, we have talked about the bad things about machine learning. I mean, they know your data, they can influence you. So let's say, let's say there, there are some confused people here. In fact, every time I go to a college or somewhere, I have this very basic question. I'm in the last year of my college, what technology I should choose? And normally I promote blockchain because I know blockchain. And that's what happens, you know, when you talk to anyone, when they, if they are, I mean, you ask them, you know, which technology I should choose, they will say that technology which they are working on. You know why? Because they only know one technology. So if you ask me, either I will say Java, or I will say Python, or I will say blockchain. Ah, Golang. <laughs> See, when you are into blockchain, you have to learn Golang. You don't have a choice. Uh, because if you work on Hyperledger Fabric, it is built on Golang. So Golang is not something I've, I've started learning uh, because I love it. <laughs> so if I want to work on uh, Hyperledger Fabric, I have to learn Golang. If I'm learning Golang, why not make a video? Yeah, that's one thing I, in fact, I don't know, how many of you follow me on LinkedIn or Facebook or... Uh, Instagram, anyone? Yeah, so from last one week, I'm quite active on these platforms. So I'm just posting some memes. I'm enjoying it. You know, so from last three years, I was a consumer of memes. Now I'm a creator of memes, right? So I create my own memes and then I type, uh, I write some uh, context about it. And then one of the context about Python is, or machine learning is, you know, most of the people that went into machine learning just because they know Python. <laughs> So they're like this zone, okay? So let's say if, if you're learning Java, so what will be your career path? So let's learn Java, Java first. What next? 
Oh, we have server JSP. What next? Hey, we have Spring Framework. What next? Hey, we, we got a job. Life settled. On the other stack, let's say Java. Uh, again, we have option of Android. Hey, we have done with Code Java. What next? Go for Android. What next? Kotlin or sorry? Flutter. Yeah, Flutter. And then that's how your stream goes, right? What are Python developers? <laughs> now, people learn Python not because of uh, passion, maybe more because of it is easy, right? And then college students, they don't even know what to learn. So, you know, they will ask to their professors, you know, which language I should prefer. Depend upon which whom you ask, most of them will say go for Python because it is easy. Even the school syllabus. I was talking to one of my friends and then Uska Beta is in 8th standard. And this guy is learning Python. It hurts, you know. <laughs> so I have learned language when I was doing my first year graduation. Okay, but my age was around, let me calculate. 18. So I started programming at the age of 18. So when I say I started programming, which I written my first Hello World code. Right? This guy is in age standard. Age will be 13 years. In fact, give it okay, right? In fact, I get some comments on YouTube. I'm 11 years old. Am I too late for programming? <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are really some, there are some, some comments. I will, I will, you know, next time I will just uh, take a screenshot and share on some platform. You know, this is the type of uh, people we have now. Uh, so yeah, so in schools as well, they promote Python. Now the question is, once you complete Python, what next? It's just that Python is so new in the industry. Okay, and I'm not saying Python, Python is a new language. It's very old. It's way before Java, but then it is getting famous now. So it is so new for the market. It's just that they don't know what to do after that. Yeah, one thing you can do is you can go get into Django. But be honest, how many of you know Django? So you can count those people, right? Ha, so, so if you talk about Java language, everyone knows that after Java you have Servlet, you have Android, but when it, when it comes to Python, not a lot of people knows about those frameworks after that. So one thing is very famous after Python is machine learning, right? And then directly jump into it. In fact, that's my meme for today, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so in the evening you will see a meme, right? So which is, you know, someone is stepping on the fourth step. They are skipping maths, they are skipping programming, they are skipping logic. Let's jump to machine learning. So they learn Python just because See, the, the case is reverse. If you want to learn machine learning, the prerequisite is Python. No one mentioned that once you learn Python, you can get into machine learning. It's a big step. And that one step in between is very important. Maths. Right? So you don't have to be expert in maths, but you should know maths. Right? That's the only condition. But then machine learning has a very good, very bright future. So if you name some technologies on your fingertips, it's blockchain. Machine learning, IoT, this will change. In fact, AR, VR. It's just that I'm waiting for Facebook to come up with something with Oculus Rift. They are working on Oculus Rift from last four years now. You know, right, Oculus, the Facebook VR. Yes. So once they're starting rolling out, then developers can do something with it. So maybe you can use AR, VR in the education.